So I kind of like how this is looking at the moment. I guess Acolyte is like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to keep Rob Power Monster. Just in case he is odd, uh, odd rogue. If he's odd rogue, like... I mean, against almost any aggro deck, Rob Power Monster is arguably the best card of my deck. So he's not odd rogue. Kingsbane. So do I just play Power Monster now? I'm going to hold it back. For now, anyway. One issue about this is that he can vanish my Galvadon and vanish my Lanessa. I mean, if he vanishes them, I guess I can play them again. I can't just play them again. He's probably going to have a buff for this. I'm going to play Tark Reaper instead. About Call to Arms. Um, I never want to Call to Arms while Power Monster, pretty much, I don't think. I don't think Call to Arms is worth it. We don't have that many cheap minions, that many cheap minions anyway. I made this yesterday, but I played Meat Wagon and the Egg, so I guess a bit meme version. My thinking was that if Death Rattles, they don't want to kill you, so you can arm buffs on them. Yeah, that is a that is a good point. Like the egg, like they never want to kill the egg, but as soon as you put blessing on it or steel or something like that, then they're almost forced to kill it. However, I think it is probably slightly too slow to, to be uh, to be good because the deck is already like quest pile in general is already kind of slow. I mean, really, it's kind of like a mid rangey deck. Fun on us. I don't want to just go in on one minion because he could sap. So, like, going steed on the Tar Creeper would be really bad here. So, I'm going to steed on this. I'm going to hit him in the face. He doesn't have the life steal on this yet. Sometimes I'll be able to just have one minion on the board and then use adaptation on it and get Wind Fury and just kill him like that. Trading versus King's Bane. I mean, it's it's just Sap is the main thing I'm worried about. Okay, there's a Vanish gone. That's it's annoying because my minions were nicely buffed, but it's it's also too good to see one of those out of the way. I probably should have played this as well. Never mind. Like he's almost definitely going to sap Lanessa. I will be able to play Lanessa again after he saps it, but. Galvadon, I definitely need to make untargetable or give it stealth. I mean, he could be playing Valspine, so I think stealth is probably better than untargetable. And because of all this healing, it's gonna he's gonna be getting. It's actually gonna be pretty hard to kill him. Paramount's a blessing, potion of heroism. I'm gonna get Galvadon like next turn if we do it like this. I think I'd just do it. I give this Divine Shield, and then this Blessing, so that I still have one minion on the board. I mean, I still have both the minions on the board, sorry. So which is a bet to use Zola on in this matchup? Lanessa or Galvadon? Because of the one turn kill potential, it, I, I feel like it was probably Galvadon. So the, the main things I need for this Galvadon right now, which I'm probably going to go for next turn, even though I don't have Zola, are Stealth and Wind Fury. They're the two things I want the most. Because I can buff it with these. I mean, wind, Stealth is the most important, I think. So Stealth is the number one pick. To play around Valspan and Sap. Then Wind Fury is good. I could potentially get Wind Fury from this, so... Stealth. I go Stealth, then Wind Fury, then Attack, I think. Guy trying to make me overdraw. I mean, I don't really mind, to be honest. You can make me overdraw if you want. Okay, if, if I overdraw Lanessa, then I probably have to kind of rethink things a little bit. But he'll probably be forced to vanish this Galvador. I could just giggle in Consecration here. Um, no, nah, I'm going to Galvador. Right, on stealth. 
Stealth, stealth, stealth. There we go. Stealth. Now I want Wind Fury. There it is. Now I want Attack. There it is! This is going great so far. Attack again. And Divine Shield, Poison, Soul, Taunt. Gotta be Divine Shield. Okay, that went very well. Is there any chance he's playing MC Tech? Do I ever need to play around MC Tech here? Like, I'm thinking Tar Creeper Righteous. I could also just double sound the bells on this, but I want to save the sound the bells for this. I could adapt this now, or I could adapt it. I'm not going to adapt it now, because he could uh, vanish. There's no way he's playing MC Tech, right? Fuck it, he's not playing MC Tech. Right. Let's go Galvadon. God, I love Galvadon. <laughs> Christology feels core to the deck. The problem I always had with Quest Paladin is that you draw buffs and not minions. Christology makes you draw the minions. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Also, like, Lanessa is a big thing. Like, Lanessa is, like, one of the power cards of the deck. And so it just makes it a lot easier for you to draw that. I'm really liking Tar Creeper in the deck. And so it's... A lot of the time you can Christology on two, and then it draws you Tar Creeper and play that the next turn. Righteous Protector is obviously really good as well. That Vanish you had to use early on really hurt him. It did. He may be... Uh, might be regretting it. The thing is, if he vanishes, I can just play Galvadon again. So it's not like Vanish permanently removes Galvadon, you know what I mean? It just stalls for one turn. Oh. Damn, now he can target this. I probably adapt it. I could use some Sound the Bells with Pyromancer. Oh god. No, I think I'm just going to make this trade here. And then adapt this. Okay, so this plays around uh, Sap. He could still Valspine it though. We're going wide, boys. Druid would love this. Well, because it's spreading plague. Yeah, but if he's if he had spreading plague, he wouldn't be able to kill the Galvadon, and then I just accumulate, consecrate, and win. Toxologist, toxicologist, Valspine. <clears throat> Ooh, no Valspine. <clears throat> I am dying here, though. I am dying. Okay, so I'm gonna go Galvadon giggling. He has no more Vanish. He could double sap. Actually, that's a bit of a worry. By giggling, he can just double sap the, the taunts and then play, um... an Eviscerate. And I'm dead. I'm going with it anyway. Okay, we've got stealth again. Do I even want stealth? <clears throat> Maybe I want a big taunt. Oh no, he's going to sap it, isn't he? Of course he is. Divine shield. Attack. Wind fury. Plus one, plus one. Okay, it's not as good as the last one, but it's still alright. Could have gone for two Righteous. Oh, I could have gone for Righteous, Righteous, Tar Creeper, get hold on. Yeah, you're right. Can he kill me here? I mean, he can double Toxicologist again, so he can get his weapon up to 10 attack. Maybe he doesn't play Eviscerate. <clears throat> I can use Sound the Bells on Galvadon five times, so I can get to a 14 attack minion. So I can do 20 attack... I can do 20 damage just with this Galvadon. Taunts are actually really, really important at this point. 28 damage isn't lethal. Okay. Okay, so I can go with the sound of bells here. I have 28, 29, 30, 32. Wait. That's lethal. 
He's on 31 health. I have 32 damage, right? Sweet. Good job, Galvadon. Love you, bro. Oh, that's good. Nice.